Introduction to Lean Product and Process Development. Somewhere out there, there is a customer. And that customer wants or needs a new product. Or maybe you have an idea for a new product and you'd like to get it to the customer. And you have a product development organization. And they're the people who are actually going to develop that new product so it can be delivered to the customer. And then the customer will be really happy. But you know what? You can't make that product. You need a plant to make the product. And the plant needs to know how to make the product. And so you have to give them the process to make the product and then the plant will be happy. And that's the goal. Happy customers, happy plant. If product development can't deliver a good product process to the plant, the plant won't be happy. And if product development doesn't deliver a great product to the customer, the customer won't be happy. Well, how often does that happen? It turns out it happens all the time. And that means we need to ask, why? So let's take a look inside product development and ask what is product development really making? It turns out what product development is making is knowledge, just knowledge. So making new products or a process to make them, those are byproducts of making knowledge. The reason that product development delivered a bad process and a bad product was that they didn't have enough knowledge. They might not have known enough about what the plant needed or what the customer really wanted. Most product development processes, a lot of learning happens after the product is launched, it's in the customer's hands, and the plant is trying to make it. That's late learning. In lean product development, we move the learning earlier in the product development process because early learning is much more effective and much less expensive. Why don't we do early learning all the time? It's because we get very excited about dates on the calendar and forget about needing to focus on the flow of knowledge. We make knowledge flow with three steps. The first step is to identify knowledge gaps and prioritize them. Secondly, we need to learn first, cheap and well, for that we use PDCA. Finally, we have to retain what we've learned for the next time. And that is how we end up with happy customers and a happy client. What questions do you have?